You have something shiny. All right, never mind. Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome to our summer solstice morning Kriya. Um, we were complaining a little bit, but not really complaining. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the who, we were just saying like, oh, it's the longest day. And then right away they get shorter again, like, oh, and um, I wish it was a month of the longest day. But um, here we are to celebrate the solstice, the, the day of the year when the most light is coming in. And, you know, we've had these solar storms. So doing this work is what we have to do so that we can hold more light, so that we can ascend, so that we can truly become fully integrated, spirit-filled humans um, living in the new earth. And whether that means we switch to a new rock and people get, you know, I don't know the particulars, but the new earth, just like the moon is in here. It's in our hearts, it's inside of us, and it already exists in another dimension. So um, today, let's just shine our light and let's, um, let's be bold and bright. That's the name of our retreat, be bold and bright shine your light. I took it from that moon song that I've been really enjoying and inspired by. And um, this is truly my favorite day. Well, the spring equinox is also my favorite day of the year, but they're my top two favorite days of the year. And I'm thrilled to be here um, with all of you. And I, I think Katie, you had something to say or. I was asking about the lotion that you rubbed into your neck. Ah, just coconut oil. And yeah, it was really catching the lights. I'm like, I, I put it on in like two seconds. I need to rub it in. Yeah, coconut oil is all I use for my body moisturizer now. And it has an SPF of only four, but still some sun protection to it. So, and you know, I searched for a Kriya to, to shine your light. And I, I thought for sure, and I searched and searched looking for something specific to um, shining our light. And there are some meditations and things, but guess what came up? The Kriya for the magnetic field and the heart <laughs> came up as one of them in there to shine your light. And I thought, well, okay, we're going to keep going with, with this one. <laughs> And uh, I really like the two that we've been kind of uh, balancing between. So um, yeah, so that's what we'll do today. And let's um, jump in with our sacred work. Okay, I think I might go a little different um, today. I was looking for something else and I came across the 33 symbols that I, printed out on their own with the intentions and um, might run through, might run through those intentions today. So starting with, I'm just opening my page so everything is ready here. Okay, starting with the clearing your field my chakras, chakra network, and energy junction points are cleared and opened for optimal functionality. I am using divine love that flows through me to purify all parts of my energy field with grace and ease. I am only receiving energy, energetic communications that honor the manifestation of my highest spiritual potentials. My energetic field is only circulating energetic communications that honor my spiritual growth. And then we do have the downloading light codes. Probably need my glasses for print on here. Okay. So I love that she has this symbol kind of in the rainbow pattern. But we're going to look at um, this symbol. I choose to invoke light codes that serve my highest and best good. I choose to receive light codes only through divinely secured channels. I choose to activate the codes within my field with grace and ease. 
I am receiving light codes that honor my highest and best good through divinely secured channels. I am activating these codes within my field with grace and ease. See yourself standing outside in the sun. Imagine the center of the sun opens and becomes a portal. And imagine a golden stream of light coming through the solar portal, entering your field through the crown of your head. And you can repeat these affirmations if you like. I acknowledge that I am a sovereign being who has the ability to exercise free will. I acknowledge that I have access to a bank of wisdom maintained by the universe and accessible through the Sphinx. I acknowledge that as a divine being, I am able to emanate love. I acknowledge as a divine being, I am a creator. I acknowledge that I am able to heal myself and help others heal as well. I acknowledge that as a divine being, I have access to powerful divine light. I acknowledge that I hold the power to capture, imbue, and transfer universal energy. Focusing on the mental layer of your field, I am exercising free will. I am tapping into universal wisdom at will. I am emanating love at will. I am using my creatorship skills at will. I am healing myself and others at will. I am tapping into powerful divine light at will. I am capturing and transferring universal energies at will. Tapping sequence, heart chakra, sacral, chin, chin, thymus, thymus, between eyebrows and heart chakra. And I will, um, let's do the tapping sequence to remove and clear anything dark, harmful, draining your energy, anything at all, uninvited, unwanted, must leave now. My energy field is an IHS unity space in perfect alignment with divine sources. And the tapping sequence between eyebrows, bridge of nose, heart, hairline, solar plexus, chin, forehead, above lip, top of head, hollow of throat, sacral, thymus, and top back of head. I'm gonna share some of the new intentions um, that I have written for the Gemini new moon. You're obviously welcome to always do your own intentions and only agree with these if they resonate. I am a divine being of light, fully supported by the universe. I have a legion of ancestors, guardian angels, spirit guides, and benevolent galactic guides who lovingly support me. I am open, clear, balanced, and aligned and in tune with the voice of spirit, my highest self. I am a generous, magnetic, compassionate leader. I choose to lead with coherent empathy and fierce, compassionate love. I am fully aligned with my soul's purpose for being. I am passionate about my work and it is manifesting with grace and ease. I am passionate and creative to getting my unique message and tools for awakening and holistic living out in order to attract communities of like-hearted people. I am open, receptive, and relaxed. My speech is gentle, kind, and uplifting. My voice is a tool for healing myself and others. I enjoy creating content and sharing it widely. I am growing and magnetizing an audience of like-hearted people. I am kind, caring, and supportive. I am organized. I am a master. I am a light worker, light beacon, and light warrior. I am a constant source of light, and I share my gifts freely and lovingly. I am successful. I easily accomplish the goals that I set for myself. I am fully integrated, spirit-filled human, masculine and feminine in perfect harmony and all opposites reconciled within. The boundaries of my small eye dissolve into orgasmic union with the universe. I give myself to the universe 
I give myself fully to the light, to life. Gain comes from giving willingly and lovingly. I am fulfilled through service. The more I give, the more I receive. My creative powers of imagination and my connection to all encompassing spirit show me the ways to realize my ideas. I master all the skills and means needed to achieve that which I long for most deeply. I am one with the source of all creation. I am attracting world-changing wealth. I am attracting others of like heart to co-create regenerative agriculture, counter economies, co-living and co-working communities globally. I am debt-free. My mortgages, taxes, loans, and debts are paid in full. And I am open to receive land now, gifted into a trust to be freely used by those of us who wish to come together to build new aeon at Venus rising. I am an alchemist. I am a conduit of heaven and earth. My family is sacred. Your life is meant to be sacred. Your soul's purpose for being is clear and you are fully supported on your life's journey. You are only running and activating your divine DNA blueprint and your divine birthright of abundance is fully activated. Calling in all of your loved ones, I am open to receiving energies from all parts of the universe that support me in fully manifesting my intentions and fulfilling my soul's mission here on earth. And the tapping is sacral, chin, heart, bridge of nose, forehead, chin, top back of head, thymus, heart, thymus, hollow of throat, hollow of throat, forehead, top back of head and C3, C4. I am further awakening and opening to profound upshifts of my physical body systems. I am extracting low vibrating energies from my field and circulating only high vibrations that promote optimal health and well-being. I invoke all source codes available to me at this time to be downloaded to my energy field with grace and ease. My body is a divine reflection of my most expanded state of consciousness. If you have a earth greeting pendulum, you can grab it now. I. I really uh, thought too late to find my pictures of Serpent Mound. So we see the actual um, mound. I'm sure there's a, a satellite image uh, available. I'm gonna pull up an image. The, um, I told you yesterday that golden serpent, I mean the, the serpent, Serpent Mound, just lit up pure gold and is moving and it has been working with me um, very profoundly. So let's see which one depicts it the best here. Okay. Now I'll share my screen. Okay. So this is an aerial view of the mound, quite fascinating, right? And the serpent itself is not a mile, but it sits within a crater that's a mile wide. And the electromagnetic field is so strong there that it's a no-fly zone. Um, and I've laid my belly on this mound. I've put my seeds on the mound. In the spring equinox, we bring our seeds to have the seeds energized on the mound. Um, if you haven't been there, it really is worth a visit um, at some time, but it's really great that we have added it to the, I mean, it was already a part of the earth grids, but in us doing this work and clearing these energies, 
new energies have been released. New source codes are coming in through this incredible um, key and tool that our ancestors have left for us here. So putting on your, let's put on, this says our 5D soul template. Let's just say our multidimensional soul template. I feel like so many higher dimensions are available and accessible to us. So just putting on your, or stepping into fully your plasma light body, your tree of light body, your seed of God body, your God particle body. And um, standing as the co-guardian of all the grids that we have laid, grids in the UK, Stonehenge, Chalice Gardens, Rosalind Chapel, Wyoming, the Wind River Range, and the ones that Janice and Sabrina did there, Gross Reservoir in Colorado, and Conundrum Hot Springs in Colorado. Um, here, my address in, in Pittsburgh with my Venus Stargate. Um, sorry, losing my train of thought. Lisa Shad's property, Mentone, Alabama, Dove Mountain in Whittier, North Carolina. Um, Cenote Balamha in Mexico, which connects directly to Saqqara in Egypt, and um, Costa Rica, Vulcan Arenal, Bahia Draco, Playa Ballena, and the most recent one that we're adding here, the Serpent Mound. We stand as co-guardian of all the earth grids as they are connected together, reactivating the stargates, clearing the energy channels of all of the um, things that have been implanted into our earth and into all of us humans to keep us stuck in these karmic cycles of third and fourth dimension. We are breaking free. We claim our sovereignty. We claim and activate our light bodies fully. We stand as the source of light and one with the source of all creation. I am a light bearer, light beacon, and light warrior here in service of the divine. We retake our earth and using either your left hand and your left foot to receive supportive energy, new uploads from the earth grid, or using your pendulum to receive supportive energy from the grids. And then opening your magnetic field to hold more light from the great central sun, from our star nations, and receiving this light as the conduit of heaven and earth, we offer these new source codes and new light codes to the earth grids for the purpose of humanity's ascension and awakening. And we seal this with the golden flame of creation. And the violet flame. Oh, it is so. Okay, our dragon founder flames of creation. Just allow this energy to sweep through your field, to bring you whatever, to clear what needs to be cleared, to bring in what needs to be brought in. This is a universal energy that um, when harnessed can, it's limitless. It's Effects are limitless. 
And then we'll do the tapping sequence for light ray infusion. Here's the key, the light ray infusion symbol. And that tapping sequence is pineal, hypothalamus, pituitary, right eye, left eye, bridge of nose, right ear, left ear, right upper molar, left upper molar, roof of mouth, which is top of lip, right lower molar, left lower molar, throat, sacred heart, heart chakra, solar plexus, liver on the right, spleen on the left, sacral, right hip, left hip, tailbone, right hand, left hand, right knee, left knee, right foot, and left foot. And my energy field and this space are IHS, sacred space in perfect alignment with divine forces. Putting on our 13D shield, purple for grounding, blue, faith, green, perfect health and love, yellow, creatorship, orange, joy, pink, power, red, intuition, sea foam, co-creatorship, indigo, wisdom, magenta, higher wisdom, turquoise, unity, silver, freedom, and gold for mastery. And our tapping sequence to um, activate and upshift our psychic receptors. I am receiving translations of light language in the clearest and most comfortable manner. I am receiving translations of light language in the clearest and most comfortable manner. I am receiving translations of light language in the clearest and most comfortable manner. I am receiving translations of light language in the clearest and most comfortable manner. I am receiving translations of light language in the clearest and most comfortable manner. And my I'm rubber and your glue, what bounces off me sticks on you symbol. I am only receiving energy communications that honor me while deflecting all other energies with forgiveness and love. And invoking the energy to manifest world changing wealth. I choose to align with my highest manifestation potential. As a powerful conscious creator, I am able to create at will with energies that align with my goals. I am worthy of receiving as much as I give. Visualize golden energy moving into you as you breathe in. Breathe it right into your heart and feel your heart expand. With support from the universe, I am balancing my incoming and outgoing energy flow and see golden threads connecting you with all parts of the universe. I freely manifest money born of divine energy with grace and ease. Imagine golden energy coming out of your hands. Capture that golden energy in spheres and imagine you are bringing those spheres into form as money. And then I capture divine energies with grace and ease. This is divine agility. These are not in order. Um, divine polarity. I am magnetizing. I am magnetically stabilizing divine polarity. Divine reception. I am attuned to receive energy from divine sources. Divine wisdom. I am guided by inner and collective divine wisdom. Divine sustenance. I am sustaining my energy field with divine energy, divine providence. I rest under the domain of divine providence, divine law. I am exercising principles of divine law, divine recording. I imprint energies in my field that align with divinity, divine expression. I am an expression of pure divinity, divine growth. My growth is guided by divine forces, divine connection. I am connecting 
with pure divine forces, divine communication. I am using divine channels to communicate. Divine reflection. I am the pure reflection of divinity. Divine filtration. I only receive energy filtered by divine sources. Divine balance. I am balanced in alignment with divine forces. Divine consolidation. Consolidating divine energies within my field. Divine seeding. I am nurturing the divine seeds planted in my field. Divine opening. I am allowing divine sources to inspire opening in me. Divine oscillation. I am in sync with the waves of divine oscillation. Divine regulation. I am regulating my field with divine energy. Divine centering. I am fully centered and aligned with divine forces. Divine movement. I am in the flow of divine energy movement. Divine hierarchy. I am able to identify the properties of divine energies. Divine Ascension Spiral. I use the Divine Ascension Spiral to raise my vibrations. I am the light of Divine Source Consciousness. My energy field is organized according to Divine Order. Divine Foundation. I am, oh, I am operating from a foundation of divine energy, divine guardianship. I am under the watchful eye of divine guardianship, divine forces. I am tapping into my ability to exercise divine forces, divine equilibrium. My divine equilibrium gauges my balance. Divine structure. My energy field is influenced by divine structure. Divine cycle alignment. I am in perfect alignment with divine cycles. And divine magnetism. I am attracting energy with divine magnetism. Okay. And moving on to our um, Kundalini practice. Let's put my skull back on here. Take some water or tea if you have it. Come on, little skull. Usually goes right on. Oh, well, we'll just hold it in my hand today. <laughs> okay. Please um, rub your hands together briskly and bring them together in front of your heart. Inhale, grow tall, reaching the crown of your head towards the heavens. Exhale, lift your diaphragm, squeeze the upper belly muscles in and slowly exhale every cell of air. Inhale to tune in. Um, Namo. Guru Dev Namo Aung Namo 
Guru Dev Namo Ang Namo Guru Dev Namo Adgarename, Jugatgarename, Satgarename, Siri Guru Deve Name. Inhale, suspend your breath. Vibrating Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo to every cell in your body. Exhale. I shall start some music and we can begin on all fours. going at your own pace with your cat and cow. Inhale, bend your breath, squeezing all of your muscles around the spine and chin and tail while pulling up the bond. We bend the feet, the point up and in. And now push the floor away, rounding into your cow pose. Cat pose is very left leg behind the knee. Reach your tail towards the earth. Inhale and coming up onto rock pose with your sitting on your heel. For spinal flexes. Inhale, lifting the heart. The chin stays neutral and Jalandara Bond. Externally rotate the shoulders. As you open, up, down, up, down, up, down. Inhale, 
Inhale left, exhale right. Head, neck, and torso moving as one unit. With a gentle squeeze to your belly at the end of that turn. We're literally bringing out our organs here. It's that's why we switch the detoxifying. We can see the organ, and then when the release the skin, they get uh, infused quickly with fresh, oxygenated blood. Powerful breath. Inhale, suspend your breath. Feel the energy rise and imagine the two beautiful serpents, the Ida and Pingala, circling around each of your chakras. Exhale. And with your right hand facing your heart, left hand facing away, make that bear grip. Mudra goes in front of your heart and keep tension pulling the hands away from each other, flapping your wings powerfully. Don't keep budging that if you want to get the shit out, move the armpit, stimulating the lymphatic system. Inhale, suspend your breath, pull the hands away from each other. Feel the golden energy pouring onto our planet from your beautiful heart center as we continue to activate to open our heart and open to believe that we are magic and the world needs our magic. Exhale. And move into the uh, shoulder shrugs, lifting your shoulders up to your ears, let gravity drop it down. Inhale, suspend your breath, squeeze the shoulders up, 
And exhale, release. Moving right into gentle neck hold. Really let me feel delicious. Releasing all stress and tension. Just let it go. Inhale as you roll back. Exhale as you roll forward. Keeping a gentle pull on the Mabon. Keeping your energy contained. And reverse direction. Inhale to center. Let's keep our legs out wide for side bends. Keep your feet flexed, going soft. Um, you can raise your hands and clasp your hands together. Very shoulders over your leg, but the clasp your hands from over your foot is the foot as you range. Inhaling center, exhaling forward. Go and take that's comfortable for you, for your body at the day. We're asking our body to open and soften and to become strong and soft and supple. You don't want to force it. Next time you find yourself on the left side, pause there. Lengthen your spine. If you can reach the foot, we we pull back on the foot and reach the crown of your head towards your foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften deeper into the fold. Inhale, rising up and folding over the right foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften into the fold. Again, pulling back on the foot if that foot is in range, reaching the crown of your head towards your foot. And exhale. And inhale up and coming to center, pull forward to any degree, keeping a nice flat back, reaching the crown of your head for a nice long spine. and rising up. Okay. Coming uh, back to easy seated pose for the version of our charge that goes with this Kriya for the magnetic field. Ajaya lies our main mantra meditation today. I'm going to read through the meaning of this beautiful, powerful mantra after we've done the um, our charge exercise, I'll just ask you to uh, be still as I talk about the, the meaning. So, oh. 
to this. The benefits of this Kriya for magnetic field and heart center, your normal feelings of happiness, connection, and well-being depend on the balance of your individual psychoelectromagnetic field. If it's strong, your muscles obey the message nerves, and the message nerves give good perception to the brain. Proper maintenance of the nerves depends on the basic elements and hormones in the constitution of the blood. This that balances the blood, works on coordination and repair of the nervous system by stimulating the heart. So our first exercise, are a charge. Our fingertips touch and connect with that connection is very important. With the pad at the base of the fingers, pull the thumbs down away from your hands and arms are out at 60 degrees. Also the angles are very important. 60 degrees, float your shoulders off your back body. That's gonna lift and open your heart. It's also gonna help you maintain your position. Keep the elbows straight, very important. It is not going to have the same effect on the nervous system if the elbows are not straight. Okay, so the breath is fire, one minute. Hold the inhalation, pump the navel 16 times. Okay, our four minutes total begins now. Breath of fire. Stepping into becoming fully your tree of light body. Visualizing your chakras, your energy junction point, your God feet that you are lit up, glowing, rivers of light flowing freely in your plasma light body. We are magical beings. We have imaginal cells. Those imaginal cells that will give us the power to manifest and why visualization is so important. Our imaginal cells connect with our inner sight. Inhale, suspend your breath. Pump your navel. Power breathe. Exhale, breath of fire. What are your imaginal cells going to work in the summer season? We've got roughly 90 days of summer meant to be carefree. The sun is nourishing. The earth, the plants, the food, the growing abundance, the rain, the water, in perfect proportion so that we can harvest. Set your intentions today, what you're birthing in this summer season, and what you'll harvest in the fall. So if you're needed, I will suppress the fire. Inhale, suspend your breath. Pump your navel powerfully. This is your will center, your womb center, your center of creativity, your solar plexus, the color yellow, just like the sun. See the sun emanating in your solar plexus. Inhale, breath of fire.
Inhale, suspend your breath. Pump your navel. Exhale. Inhale, bring your thumbs together to touch. Fingers spread wide like steel. Reaching up, hugging your arms, your ears. Unity held the handshake. Extending your hand and your heart to your archangels, ancestors, benevolent galactic guides. Receive. Put your palms up to receive. Special gift. Light goes into the chakras in your hand. Exhale, squeeze in your heels. Let your hands connect with the earth. And then bring your right hand into your left, right hand on top, let the thumb touch. Just relax this mudra in your lap. Gentle breathing. The Ajay Alai is a magnificent mantra from the Jap Sahib. It's a hymn that praises the Creator who is metaphysical, eternal, unborn, uncreated self, existent and without form, feature, and color. Sing it with tremendous gratitude to the divine. It teaches about self worth and grace. The nod of the mantra, or the vibration of the mantra arouses the soul and self-being. Let it, let it arise and ignite the light in your soul. It will shine brightly, be bold and bright. When you're in danger or feeling weak, this mantra uplifts the soul and brings grace and greatness. It brings the ability and power to whatever you say must happen. Ajay alive, invincible, indestructible, abai abai, fearless, unchanging, abu aju, unformed, unborn, anasa kap, imperishable, etheric, aganj abanj, unbreakable, impenetrable, alak abak, unseen, unaffected, a call, dial, undying, merciful, a lake, a bake, indescribable, uncostumed, a nam, a calm, nameless, desireless, a ga, a ka, unfathomable, incorruptible, a nate, pramate, unmastered, destroyer, a jone, a mone, Beyond birth, beyond silence, na rage, na range, beyond love, beyond color, na ruke, na reke, beyond form, beyond shape, a karma, a barmung, beyond karma, beyond doubt, a ganje, a leke, unconquerable and indescribable, and these are your attributes. Inhale and bring your arms out to a peak. Let your wrists completely relax and your hands are just hanging and breath of fire here for three minutes. Take in the nod of the mantra. Powerful breath, project straight through the portal of your heart. Astro travel in the long rivers. Go where your soul needs to go. Thank you. 
Last 15 seconds, breathe powerfully. Inhale, suspend your breath. Release, give yourself a little love, gently massaging the shoulders. And for the next set of stomach pumps, if you are able, to sit on your heels. Okay, sit on your heels. In rock pose. As an alternative, you can stay in easy seated pose. I love the benefits of this exercise. It stimulates the thyroid, parathyroid, legal center, and a creates a smooth, radiant complexion and a glow in the eyes and face. So the knees are spread wide apart. We support our body with our hands. We create a 60 degree angle with our body. We inhale, hold the breath, and pump the stomach as many times as you can until you need to exhale. We'll be here for 90 seconds. And then we walk the hands back and bring the body free and continue for another 90 seconds. And now, inhale, bump your navel powerfully. Remember, this is your center of creativity. Your center of fun resides right here in your own womb center. Mani Pura Chakra. Exhale when you need to exhale. Inhale, pump your Walk your hands back, bringing your body to a three degree angle. You would bring your inhale, pump the navel.
Inhale, coming up, exhale, folding down into child pose. Bring your palms together to touch and extend the arch straight overhead in your child pose. For the first two minutes, long deep breaths. For the next two minutes, we'll chant the mantra, Ong, O-N-G, so hung, H A N G, Ong, so hung, Ong, life force, create creative life force energy. So hung, that I am, creative life force energy, that I am. Begin chanting the mantra, remain in your child's soul. Inhale, 
Inhale, rising up. Extend your legs straight out in front for light nerve stretch. Inhale, your arms straight up, flex the feet. Exhale, hold forward if your feet are in range. Grab the feet, but keep a nice straight spine. Soften it to the fold and normal. One minute. Inhale, rise up, place your hands on the floor behind you, coming into back platform. Um, if this is not feasible for you, we'll be here only one minute. This builds tremendous power. So by simply placing the hands on the floor behind you and pressing down the toes and lifting up the torso. Um, if you can't hold the whole minute, just do press it and lower but we're going to attain back platform and alternate is reverse tabletop and the breath the breath of fire the breath of fire is for the total one minute after 30 seconds if you are able and want to set the feet out and in for the last 30 seconds Let's begin now. Inhale, press down your toes, lift up your torso, press the fire. Begin walking the feet or just hold the pose, continuing breath of fire. Last 30 seconds. Press down, inhale, lift the torso higher, lift the hips, hold, and sit right back down, inhale, lengthen the arms overhead, exhale, fold forward, life nerve, stretch one minute. Really surrender into this fold, feel the deep relaxation intense western stretch in traditional yoga that's how this translates it stretches the light nerve
Inhale up. Reach your hands out and make your way slowly down onto your back for a relaxation. It's not our final Shavasana, but take a deep breath here. Inhale, hug your knees into your chest. And rock and roll a few times to bring yourself back up to a seat. Okay, um, Mahamudra. Um, the great seal of yoga. Again, if you're able, creating a shadow, to sit on the left heel, the right foot extended straight out in front. If sitting on the left heel is not possible for you, come into Janya Sirsasana with the left foot pressing into the right thigh. The right foot is flexed. We're going to reach forward, take Yogi Big Toe Hold, which is your Jupiter and Saturn or your index and middle fingers wrapping around the big toe. The thumb can press on the nail bed. That's the right hand. The left hand sweeps around, grabs hold of the foot, your chin is tucking in and your gaze is at your big toe. The breath. We inhale, exhale. Hold the exhale and hold the Uddiyata Band, the diaphragm lock. So as we exhale, we lift up the diaphragm, squeeze the belly muscles. You're also going to naturally pull Mulvan, the sex organ venous and navel point. We're here for three minutes. I will um, walk through the breathing pattern a couple of times and then leave you to your own because you hold that diaphragm lock um, for eight seconds and then inhale. So, here we go. Take so hold, left hand on the foot, chin tucking inward. Gaze at the big toe. Inhale. Exhale. Diaphragm lock. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Inhale. 
Exhale. Diaphragm lock. Lift up that diaphragm. Squeeze the belly muscles. Four, three, two, and one. Inhale. Exhale. Lifting the diaphragm as you exhale and then squeeze. Four, three, two, and breathing on your own now. Remember to squeeze the chin towards the chest. Gaze at the big toe. One minute more. Inhale up, and let's make our way back down onto our back for alternate leg lifts. So what we'll do is put it flat on your back, raise the left leg to 90 degrees, wrap the fire 90 seconds or 60 seconds, right leg comes up, wrap the fire 60 seconds, and then both legs go 12 to 60 off the ground, wrap the fire. Just when you think you have figured out something new, begin to say what's going on. Now, breath comes up, breath of fire, power of the breath, something in the navel. Change leg, lower the left, raise the right, continue breath of fire. Rapidly inhale and exhale through the nose.
hands under your butt for support. Reach out and then raise your feet 12 inches off the ground. Breath of fire. One minute. Inhale, suspend your breath. Make your stomach like steel. Squeeze the belly in. Pull up the bond, sex organ, anus, navel point up and in. Squeeze. Relax. Surrender completely. We're not our final Shavasana, but enjoy the relaxation. I am Haru Raha, Lord and Queen of the Sun, here to share light, light, liberty, and love for the purpose of the complete emancipation of the human race. Amen Ra, great shining king of the sun, brilliant flame who drive our beating hearts. Glory and honor to you, Amen Ra. Challenge all fronts as you cut through the dark night of the soul, threatened by the serpents of prophets who wish to devour you and extinguish your life giving light. We emerge again in gateway in royal colors of purple, blue, and yellow. Through your rebirth and glorious presence, we too are made new and whole. Amen Ra, great father of light, teach us how to mature into our own great each turn of the spiraling wheel of change. In your ability to honor the dark as well as the light, you have gained insight. All seeing eye of wisdom, power, and alchemical gold, the mind, the glory, and the power forever. Now, we're out to come into shoulder stand. Miss shoulder stand. Beloved child, go out, spread light to the world. to have our legs wide and breathe breath of fire. I think it's quite challenging. Breathe breath of fire in shoulder stand. Do it if you like. Do it for as long as it feels comfortable, ish, and then go back to regular food. If, if you don't want to shoulder pin, just put your hips on a block, legs up at 90 degrees, bring it down to the floor, and start in just a second. Okay. 
So for shoulder band, I'm going to keep your neck flat, looking straight up. We hoist our butt up off the ground. Walk your hand as far up your back as you're able, and then reach your feet up towards. I like to pretend I want to step on the ceiling. Actively reach my feet towards the ceiling. And then we have to have our legs wide and then drop the fire. Last 30 seconds. Let's bring our feet back together, reach the feet towards the ceiling, and then slowly bring your toes towards the floor behind your head, coming into plow pose. Press your palms flat on the floor, slowly lower down, one vertebrae at a time. and relax on your back. Glorious Sekhmet, the Almighty One, with their flying golden mane and flashing green eyes. Your fiery countenance causes all who meet you to lower their eyes and bow their heads. 
fierce compassion lives within your big lioness heart as you demand truth from all those who dare to meet your gaze. Your great power and energy catalyzes the fires of transformation within the hearts of all who call out your name. You come when we are ready and you come when we are not. But in truth, you always come when the time is right for change. No one is ever the same having felt your hot breath upon their face and received your mercy and love. Where will you lead us now, warriors of love, great feminine face of the sun? What new adventure will you bring us, great lady? Will you help us quiet the fearful voices of doubt while cooling the reckless passion of impulsivity? We humbly ask that you help us reconcile the duality within us, merging the opposing forces into grounded wisdom, balance, equilibrium. Show us how to stand in the fire of our soul's own truth. Fire is the light of our soul. Spirit manifested in our physical being. The purpose driving the fire element is to awaken our consciousness and to shine our light. The fire element is the most demanding and potentially our most destructive impulse. Unconscious fire expresses us frustration, anger, and rage, which seed revenge, righteousness, and violence. Untamed and undirected fire express as automatic impulses that fuel compulsive and random behaviors. Unconscious fire ignites and feeds off of drama and conflict. The lack of fire can be equally devastating. We become depressed, lifeless, hopeless, self-degrading, and give up on ourselves and our lives. There's not enough juice to take action. We lack the motivation to change. The blessings of Kundalini Yoga and meditation is that it offers us techniques to awaken and transmute our fire energy into the light of our soul and bring light to our mind so that we can truly be human. Who means light, man, man means mind. Light, mind. Our light must be illuminated and steady. It must not flicker on and off. We need consistent light force and auric radiance. And then the fire at the navel can rise to awaken the heart where it's tempered and expresses as compassion and passion for life. Fire at the navel and fire in our mind. Fire is generated, stimulated, and aligned at our navel center and third chakra why we do so many breath of fires and navel pumping in this Kriya. When the Kundalini awakens, that power of our soul moves up the spine and enlightens or brings light to our mind.
Okay, one final exercise. We're going to do alternate leg and head lift. We'll be here just one minute. Um, if you're able to have your arms straight up, palm facing one another. Otherwise, if you need support, place them under your butt. But inhale, raise the leg. Exhale, raise the head. Let's begin. Inhale, raise the leg. Exhale, raise the head. Inhale, legs. Exhale, head. Inhale, hug your knees into your chest, and rock and roll. Some of those two feet. And we'll just have a um, closing meditation, meditating on the song, God and me, me and God are one. As soon as I pull it up in the meantime, da sakem sahu, ignite the fire in your heart, honor Sekhmet, the feminine face of the sun. Hand mudra index and thumb touching, and um, just sing this beautiful, beautiful song and meditate.
take a deep breath in. Exhale. Close our practice and may the long time sun shine upon you. Satnam, the light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. And I mean, we cannot make this shit up. This is the card I drew today. <laughs> Shine your light. Isn't she magnificent? Quan Yin and her dragon. Um, wise action, space for grace, and the compassion, Quan Yin. I left the guidebook at my other place, so. Thank you. Anybody have any share? That's oh. awesome. Wait, I, I, under the category of you can't make this shit up, I drew a picture of the snake mound with a date on it today on my drawing pad. And while we were doing the meditation, I found this little twig in front of me. And can you see it? Oh, my gracious. <laughs> so that was right in front of me. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love how. I love how they have fun with us. <laughs> You're muted, Christine. If you were talking. You're muted. I'm just laughing. I'm just like, yeah, it's all amazing. Yeah, can't make this up. <laughs> that little twig is a treasure. Oh my goodness. Uh, now, are you, uh, are we going to go to Serpent Mound for the eclipse as a group but by any chance? I would consider it. I'm sure it'll be one of the most crowded places on the eclipse path. I was thinking of my friend's cabin in Buffalo, New York. He has a teeny tiny third generation cabin on the lake. And um, we could camp there and it's really beautiful. 
Well, I think Oklahoma's going to be on the line, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, we were looking at uh, Airbnb. What's that? Yeah, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Sorry, Lisa. Oklahoma? Oklahoma is on the line, but it's not anywhere near me where the no. is. And we've been having a really hard time trying to find any place to go where you can like still get places to go. So we're trying to figure out how to do that. Mm. What's sure. the date? April, April. like 9th to 29th, something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next year. Birthday, okay. Next year. What? Isn't that your birthday, Christine? Pardon me? Isn't that your birthday? I thought it was uh, it was around my birthday, which is April 9th, but I, I could be oh, wrong. No. I, thought, I thought it was right around there. Yeah. Uh, we were starting to look at Airbnbs and uh, and th that weren't, I mean, probably need to book it fairly soon uh, to get it for next year, but they weren't a bad price for, you know, they weren't so bad if shared, you know, with a few people, but We'll have to. And you were actually able to, to look them. again. We started looking yeah. about three months ago and we could not find any. It would come up with rates, but when you tried to book it, there was nothing available. Oh, geez. Well, I'm going to call Mike well, and confirm, but I feel confident Mike will let us use his tiny cabin. It's a sweet little place. And, and um, is, is that on the path of totality? Buffalo? Nice. So, Okay, I'm going to practice. I'm going to take my pendulum and go along the path of totality and see like what, uh, what pops up. I'm going to practice. <laughs> Good idea, Lisa. I'm going to do that too. Do it as a group, right? And like all, all the factors that factor in, like availability of a place to stay, like, I don't know, whatever. Like that would be a fun thing to practice. You're just going to take the pendulum over the map? And, I don't know. I haven't done it.